Hi, I'm Steve from Voodoo Creek. Let's get into this. <laughs> So this is a 12 bar blues in E, in the style of Muddy Waters of course. We're using a thumb pick for that snap. The... And we're using these fingers for the top two strings. And the rhythm is a heartbeat. And you tap your right foot in time with that. So that in sections where you're not using a bass line you can when you get back to where you are you're in time you just sync up with your foot it's actually quite an easy technique right so we're sliding up on the a string to the e note on the seventh fret on the a string and then we're going to hit the open e you want to get that snap in there that's a big part of the muddy water style and then on the top, we're going to be doing the... So that's a little double stop there. That's the 7th fret, that's the 8th fret on the B and E. See, so I'm just getting up there and hitting that ninth, that ninth fret on the E string. And all the while you're tapping your foot to that heartbeat rhythm. And then the last part of that. So it's what we were doing here, but we're doing it down here now. So that's the full fret. And then onto the A seventh chord. So we just did that twice. So what I'm doing is I'm sliding up on the low E string to the full fret and then playing an A seventh chord but I'm hitting that open A just before I get into the chord itself. So we just did that twice. And then uh, from there, You're hitting the open E string again, slightly muted. And then we're doing a... So what we got going on here is this little double stop. Sliding down. So... And then we're going to go to the B7, which is this chord. As we walk up to it. So. Sorry. You've got, you got 
a triad there. And then that note on the bottom there. Seven. Then the turn round. So Right, so a slight variation on that rhythm. If you don't want to do the all the way through the verses, um, you could probably do that for like the first and the last verse. You might be playing slide as well, or you might be singing and you might not want to have to mess with that. So what Muddy used to do, he'd have this little triad shape. And he would sit on that for the root chord. there that simplifies it if you're going to sing or play another instrument or do some slide you know Hi, my name is Steve and welcome to Voodoo Creek. I'm going to be telling you all about the Neptune stand, the construction, the colours they come in, the quality of the materials, how stable they are and how they're going to last you a lifetime and why you need to buy one. So stick around. Right, well welcome to the Neptune stand folks. Now let me tell you about the construction in the centre section there we've got a three-quarter, 13-ply Baltic birch with no voids, best quality. And then we've got two half-inch pieces on the outside. So we've got a super thick, strong, rigid centre backbone there. On the top end we've got a hardwood block that's screwed and glued deeply into this for stability. The top hanger moves it's the best quality on the bottom end here we've got a super wide foot there for stability as well so this thing's not going anywhere and let me tell you about the the top coat here the clear coat is a catalyzed but varnish that's supposed to be for outside bars and that kind of stuff so it's super hard wearing um, i actually call this color tsunami green it's actually my favorite color 
and the whole design I think you'll agree mimics pretty well as a sea creature the tail and the backbone and then the fluke on the end and there's no screws or tools required in this it just simply slots together like so and then that's super stable you don't need to worry about your instrument on this the more weight you put on it the more stable it gets and you could virtually hang an engine on this nice big foot it's not going anywhere So this one we call Ocean Blue. It's a really nice turquoisey kind of hue to it. It looked nice in a contemporary environment. My wife actually really loves this color. So this one we call Vintage 57 because it's like the two-tone finish that they applied to Fender Stratocasters in 1957. It's got a nice honey amber hue to it. Very classic look. So last but not least, this is Tobacco Sunburst. And it's one of our best sellers because I think it really fits in well with a classically designed home, you know, vintage furniture. And it's got that traditional kind of hue that uh, musical instruments were always kind of finished in. Very nice warm amber tones. Well, I hope you enjoyed the short film as much as I enjoyed making it. If you'd like to pick up one of these, get yourself down to voodoocreek.com.